few years ago, we interviewed chef, food stylist, and writer Vanessa Cedar about her cookbook called Cool Eats. Sorry, I gave you faulty information. Oh, As you can see, the title is Eat, Eat Cool. Cool, My Mistake. Now, during that conversation, Vanessa and I agreed that the next time the temperature soared way into the 90s, we were going to see if it was hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk. Yesterday, it was showtime. We're doing this at high noon, air yes. temperature, 93 degrees. Yes. We have Kirk Craddy's thermometer. Yeah. Uh, 118 for Oof. the pavement. You know, we're a little low. Now, I will say this. So if you're going to cook an egg, it's got to be about 158 degrees to coagulate, and it has to be a steady heat. So this might not work. Only but one way to find out. Let's give it a go. Here All we right. go. Always wanted to do this. <laughs> there we go. Got some shell in there. No one's eating it anyway. When you throw an egg into a, a hot skillet, it, it immediately sizzles and cracks yeah. and pops yeah. a little bit. Yeah. We got none of that here. Absolutely not. It's not a good sign. No, no, no. So we're we're so schwitzing we're here, net but that, zero. The we're egg like isn't negative. Do it well. All right. Yeah. Should we tr should we try the pan? Should we give it a go? I think we better. I think we got to try one more time. I, I think we better. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. I brought some EVOO, some extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> I'm gonna put in the pan, we're gonna do this right. Big. I have a couple large eggs. Gonna give this a crack. And the skillet has been sitting out here for it 10 has, minutes. Yes, so. it's been sitting in the sun. Soaking up. I got some freshly ground black pepper. <laughs> we got some flake salt. I got some flake salt here. And we're gonna cover this. Let's give it a go and see what happens in a few minutes. Let's go back to our original egg on the pavement. And, oh, this is sad. I think we were, <laughs> we were misled as children, weren't I we, Vanessa? I think so. You know what? I'm noticing a little bit around the rim. Yeah. Especially on the tar part of the, the asphalt uh, where they've repaired it. It is starting to coagulate slightly, but just barely. All right, what are you yeah. going to be eating tonight with your family on this hottest night of the year? What's, oh, what's on the menu tonight? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, I'm probably, I actually am coming off of, uh, of a health cleanse anyway, so I'm going to probably be eating a healthy salad, um, maybe a little bit of grain thrown in. Um, I love like a, a protein source, so nuts or tempeh or just something really healthy and light. And, no stove, no oven tonight. Oh, maybe no. just a little bit to toast the nuts, but just a couple minutes and that's it and just keep it really light colorful get all the nutrients in the salad really nice vinaigrette just keep it really really light and hydrate it's so important on a day like today to make sure that you hydrate let's check our skillet again okay. see if we have any activity <laughs> let's see if i even need this is it hot enough no <laughs> i don't think you're I'm gonna, gonna pretend get second there you go well oh oh no, that's kind of sad, isn't it? It's pretty sad. Midday sun, 118 degrees yeah. on the parking lot surface, and we have yes. conclusively proved it doesn't work. You cannot no. fry an egg. It's not a sidewalk, but it's even hotter than a sidewalk. No, sorry to say. What? Not even a little bit? No, no. No sizzle, uh, nothing. You know, it does give me a little comfort though, Rob, because now I know if I ever come over for breakfast, I will know that you've cooked the eggs on the stove and not the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, but if you come over and I'm actually cooking, that'll be a miracle in itself. <laughs> I love it. Hey, well, at least we tried. We'll be right back with more 207.